Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys where I find my 60s and 70s inspired but also vintage clothing. This is my most asked question, so I thought this would be the perfect video to film today. This video is really for everybody. Whether you have little to spend, a lot to spend, wherever you may live, whatever size you may be. Because I'm going to be sharing tips for all of you guys, no matter what. <laughs> Also a disclaimer, um, I own a lot of clothes and I never would have owned all of these clothes if I didn't make this my job. And you don't need this many clothes. It's ridiculous how many clothes I have, but like the majority of it was gifted to me. I think like 80% of my clothes were gifted to me and I didn't pay for them. I dressed like this long before I made this my job. I had way less clothes and I still made it work. So. Don't mind me, you don't need all these clothes. And especially you don't need all these expensive clothes. So first of all, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite small businesses that sell 60s and 70s inspired clothes. But I'm also gonna be sharing those who sell vintage clothes. Also, I should probably share with you guys what I'm wearing today first. So, I'm wearing this blouse, which is by The Hippie Shake. I'm wearing this denim dead stock vintage vest from Hazy Days Vintage and then I'm wearing my Rolas jeans um, my Rolas jeans uh, this scarf is also by the Happy Shake and then I got these these ABBA buttons that my friend Carolina gifted to me uh, she got them at ABBA Voyage and they make my outfit so perfect <laughs> first small business, probably the most well-known small business if you're into 60s and 70s is the Hippie Shake they are the first ever small business that reached out to me and gifted me clothes. So I'm gonna show you the very first thing that they gifted to me, my very first gifted item. <laughs> this was so exciting back then. It is this blouse. Oh, I need to lose the vest. This blouse, this blouse is so beautiful. It is so 70s and the quality is so incredible. This is from their Retrospect collection. They don't sell that anymore, but I have such many lovely memories. Um, from this blouse. I'm gonna put some uh, images on the screen of me and Hippie Shake clothes. I have so many, like, I could make like a two hour video just showing you all my Hippie Shake clothes. <laughs> but also with this, like, 95% of it was gifted to me. They are on the more expensive side, but then, I mean, all these small businesses. Please don't expect H&M, Primark, Shein prices. It is not normal for clothes to be that cheap because you are not paying the people that made these clothes. And besides, I think it's so much better to invest just in one piece that is a little bit more expensive than to buy four pieces for the same price because those four pieces are of bad quality, will go bad so soon, will then end up in landfills and all that shit, which is so harmful for the planet. I think it's so much more beautiful to have a piece that will live with you forever because I know that I will own these pieces forever because the quality is amazing also because probably I will always um, dress like this I'm pretty sure I will, who knows <laughs> let's see what else we got this one also from the Hippie Shake from their Heroes collection I believe this is still available because this is their uh, eternal collection this is so beautiful this is the collection inspired by bowie i love bowie and i love this shirt so much then this is also by the hippie shake um also need to lose the fest so the hippie shake is really the place to go they have everything like they have shoes dresses skirts blouses they have everything accessories so highly recommend them they are not the cheapest but I do think it's worth it. Because these are investment pieces. These are not just pieces that you're gonna wear one season and then throw away. That's the whole point. <laughs> and then I have to show you guys my absolute favorite piece from the Hippie Shake. If you've been following me for a while, I think you might guess this one. But let's go over to my shoes. Oh, I don't think you can see, but... <laughs> my dear Penny Lane shoes. They did such a good job on recreating the Penny Lane boots. Um, I put this uh, plastic in here so that they stay pretty in my closet. I'm still not over them. I've had them for a year and a half, I think. And still, every time I walk past my closet, I look at them and, I, and I'm like, these are mine? 
they are just too beautiful. I don't wear them enough because I'm so like careful with them. I should wear them more often. But they're just so they're so just so special. I feel like they're too special to wear every day. But then again, they are too special to just sit on the shelf. I wear them, but I don't wear them like on a daily basis. I should. I should. I really should. They're so cool. And then also some shoes from the Hippie Shape that I absolutely adore. These are from their latest collection. Uh, what was it called again? Oh, this is from their Heroes uh, Volume 2. These super cool 70s platform shoes. Are you kidding me? They are so cool. <laughs> okay, second small business that I need to talk about is the chain designs. I'm probably their biggest fan. This was like one of the first small businesses that I ever discovered. They were very focused, I mean at least it seemed to me that way, on crochet. And oh my god, this is the first ever piece that I got from them. I remember buying this and getting this in and just... I put it on and I just completely felt like that was me. And that just this transported me to the 70s and I wore this so often. I still wear it often but since this was like one of my first like such authentic looking 70s pieces back then and I didn't, didn't have a lot of clothes. I wore this so often, like so often. And I just put this on and I just, everything came together. I was like, wow, this is me. That, this is just such a sentimental top for, for me. This is another top from the chain designs that I um, got much later actually. So I this one I got from one of their sample sales. So you, I don't think you can get this one. Um, but I love this. I wear this also a lot. The reason they are one of my favorites is because the majority of their stuff is handmade. Which means that it is first of all super sustainable. But also that you can request any sizing. So if you are uh, like, hmm, I can't really find my size. Or I want this like skirt a little longer or a little shorter. You can just request it. And their prices, uh, considering the fact that everything is handmade by a family owned team. I think if you take that in mind, their, their prices are really reasonable for what you get. The quality, incredible. Like, incredible. I cannot recommend them enough. So, I'm gonna show you guys some pieces from the chain. First of all, I see... Oh, they, these are two. I put them on top of each other because I have so many clothes. I can't, I can't fit them in my closet, even though I just got a new one. Anyways, um, I've got this wrapped up. The material of this stuff, so soft. Like, it feels like you're wearing pajamas. Then I got the same top in this print. So lovely! Oh my gosh! Okay, so I just grabbed some. I have way more, but it's way too much to show you all. I'm gonna show you uh, some of my favorite pieces. This dress, oh my gosh! It's so beautiful. It's like a 60s mini dress, but with a 70s big collar. So it's sort of like the 60s and 70s mixed, which I absolutely adore. The print, the print, are you kidding me? Sunshine in a dress, summer in a dress, happiness in a dress, me in a dress. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, this dress, this is what I recently received this. This is from their latest autumn and winter collection, even though you can perfectly wear this in summer. The belt fell. Um, This is so beautiful. I posted these photos with it. The other day and I captioned it saying like this dress made me feel like a 60s Barbie doll because this is really how it made me feel like I grew up with these Barbie dolls from the 60s and 70s because um, they were my mom's and I always wanted to look like one of those Barbie dolls and this dress really made me feel like that the print amazing then I got some tops some some turtlenecks First in this print. Everything is so soft. Did I already mention that? I don't know. But everything is the nicest material. And it has these flare sleeves, which is so cute and very subtle. They're not too big because if they're very big, that's beautiful. But very unconvenient in your daily life. If you're cooking or eating, it's like always in the way. I wear this also when I'm not feeling good and I just want to be in my pajamas. I put this on because it's, it just feels like I'm wearing my pajamas and I'm looking cute. So amazing. I nearly forgot to mention but the chain also started doing t-shirts and they're so amazing also so comfortable and they look this looks straight out of the 70s doesn't it? Oh my god I love it so much and then this one never break the chain 
so amazing. <laughs> I usually hate t-shirts. I hate them so much because they look so sporty and I love to like wear girly things, dresses and skirts. And it's just, you know, t-shirts are usually like, but they just look so nice. I, I can make them look so nice and girly and <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> So the third small business that I absolutely love is the ginger cats. I recently discovered them, last year only actually. Um, they are a small business based in Barcelona, Spain, which is amazing if you are based in Europe and you don't want to risk um, having to pay these import duties, high shipping, having to wait for your parcel, unfortunately because of the Brexit, all these UK businesses, um, there's, a, there's always a risk that you have to pay import duties they're not that much from coming from the uk but you know shipping day is taking longer so if you want if you don't want to risk that order from the ginger cat in barcelona they are amazing this is a pair of 60s inspired trousers that i got ah, i'll put some photos on the screen obviously of me wearing it their clothing looks so authentic like straight out of the 60s i'm always so shook by everything that they create. And recently I received this mini dress from them. Hold on, I need to grab it. I'm sorry, but this is just a vintage dress. You cannot tell me that this is like made this year or last year. You cannot tell me that. This is literally a dress from the 60s. How, how is that possible? It also came with a matching headband. Let me show you the print from up close. So amazing. Fourth, small business, Nine Lives Bazaar. They are based in Australia, so if you're Australian, this is the brand to go for. They are also quite expensive, but definitely worth it. You pay for what you get because these um, are super thin, breezy material. And they use super sustainable um, materials, which is great. And they also feel so nice on the body. These are really the dresses that you want to wear in summer. Even if the, some of the dresses are super long, and have long sleeves they're gonna keep you cool so first dress that i got here is this one which has these <laughs> incredible feather sleeves second dress is this one oh my god one of my favorites i wore this on one of my favorite days of 2021 i have such good memories for that dress <gasps> this maxi dress oh my gosh it is so beautiful too and then i have this one which i've recently got in the mail this is from one of their latest collections. Oh, hold on, I have another one. I also recently received this one in the mail. This is their Twiggy dress. How gorgeous is it? It ties up in the back like this. I can't wait to shoot some Twiggy photos with this. I definitely will soon. Moving on to another Australian brand called Mellow Mellow Clothing. I will put some pictures of me wearing that brand on the screen. So this is a dress by Mellow Mellow Clothing, also based in Australia. I have this other set by them too, but it's somewhere high up in my closet and I can't get uh, and I can't get to it right now. You can just pick a design and then they have so many groovy floral prints and you can pick whatever print you want on the design, which is so exciting. Now I'm gonna get into some small businesses that sell true vintage pieces. First small business is the Octopus Garden. They also recently started, not recently, like a year ago, longer, I don't know, started making their own clothes, but from actual vintage fabrics, which I think is such a lovely idea. You're ha you have like a vintage dress. I mean, the fabric is vintage, but it's handmade now. So this is one of the handmade dresses by the Octopus Garden, but this is actual vintage fabric from the 60s and 70s. This dress also comes with a matching beret. This is one of my favorite dresses, especially love to wear this in autumn. Oh my God, if you want to get affordable, Vintage, true vintage pieces, you have to go to the Octopus Garden. They sell these vintage pieces for so cheap compared to other places. Like, they are like nearly H&M prices for true vintage pieces. I like, it blows my mind every time. And I'm like, oh my God, that is so cheap. Another small business that sells incredible vintage pieces is Groovers Vintage. I worked with them last year and they sent me this dress, which is a vintage 60s dress. And they are based in Sweden, so that is also great if you are European and you don't want to pay that much on import duties. So now I'm just going to be sharing my tips on how to find the best vintage pieces. 
First, if you don't have a lot to spend, go to your local thrift stores. You can find stuff for like a euro, a dollar, uh, just very little um, prices. However, I do understand that not everybody has access to thrift shops. You know, if you are living in a country that doesn't really have thrift shops, that doesn't really sell vintage clothing, I know this is hard, but then you can go to shops like Forever 21. I I really do not want to promote fast fashion here, but if you don't have another option, these clothes, like, you, you are lucky right now because the 70s are kind of trendy. They kind of were. I don't know if they still are. I, I honestly don't know what's trending, but you can take modern pieces and style them in a vintage way. I don't recommend this. I Please let this be your last option. But... Um, <laughs> Like shops like Forever 21. I got some pieces back in the day from Forever 21 that looked super 70s. At least when you style them 70s, you don't even see that they're not actual vintage pieces. Like if you style them in a very 70s way, you probably won't even notice that they're not actually from the 70s. Also, there are a bunch of apps out there if you don't have access to physical thrift shops. Like Etsy, Depop, Vinted. These are the three that I use. Etsy is amazing. I found such incredible pieces on there but it is rather on the expensive uh, on the expensive side like these sellers ask so much these days for vintage pieces it's ridiculous sometimes depop is a little cheaper overall always try to search on true vintage so you know that it's true vintage unless you don't want true vintage but if you do write that then vinted is like my favorite app to shop because it's the cheapest people don't ask that much I do think that this is only European based. I have never really heard anyone outside of Europe talk about this. So I'm pretty sure this is only for European people. I'm going to be sharing my absolute biggest tip on how to score vintage pieces for an affordable price. All right. What you're going to do. So whatever you might be looking for, let it be like a vintage suede skirt, a 70s top, a 60s dress. You're going to translate that into French and look it up. Let me tell you one thing. French people on Vinted sell their vintage stuff for so cheap. It's ridiculous. Also, Italian people and Spanish people also sell it for cheap, usually. But the French people... That is how I found some of the best vintage pieces for an affordable price. That is, like, literally my biggest tip. Also, shoes. I forgot to mention this. There's another small business that you have to go to if you are looking for 60s-inspired shoes. It is... Much shoes. I got these two pairs by them. These ones, so beautiful. And then these ones, I've worn these so often. They are like, oh, you can't really see. They're like forest green little shoes and these red Mary Janes. And then I have like so many other beautiful Mary Jane shoes, but most of them um, are vintage. Like for example, these ones, they are, these are my absolute most. Are these my favorite shoes? I mean, my Penny Lane shoes, oh, Penny Lane boots, obviously. But these are the most bros, right? I wear them a lot in summer and they just make me feel so like myself. But there are so many more little shops that I would love to mention in this video. But it's just way too much and I will get into that once I do more and more fashion videos here on YouTube. I'm very excited for that. Let me know what other fashion videos you would like to see on here. Like if you want to see me style some outfits or do some more lookbooks. I would love to make, film some more lookbooks. I love filming those. Uh, let me know in the comments because I read everything and I take everything into consideration. Thank you so much for watching. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications and do the thumbs up. <laughs> and I will see you very, very soon. Mwah!